Here's a fun topic to talk about. <laughs> How to prevent teammates from being cross-promoted into other businesses. You have two options when, when this stuff happens, okay? Let me just bring this up. You have two options. What you can do is you can wish the best, you know, wish them the best, tell them, oh, you know, I love you. You know, it kind of sucks that it happened, but, you know, I totally understand. So you either wish them the best or you be a fucking dickhead, right? You be a jackass to them. So, or be a hater. You have two options. You can either tell them, you know, it kind of sucks, that's what's, what's going on. I completely understand, you know, shit comes up. I know that you're going to make the best decision for your family. I still love you. I still care about you. I still wish you all the success and happiness in the world. Or you can be a complete hater. Now, what's going to happen when you be a complete hater? Not a lot's going to happen. You know, you still have that, that bridge when you wish them the best. You know, you're not building, you know, you're not burning any bridges or anything like that. But when you're a hater, this is what you're going to do. You're going to tell your team to stop following that person. You're going to tell your team to block that person that um, Sarah actually left and joined with a different business, right? Maybe you'll stop um, you know, edifying them so much. You'll stop putting them in the team leadership stuff, all of that stuff. And you're going to tell your team, this person left. They're, they made the worst decision ever. They're a complete asshole. They, they joined a scam, a pyramid scheme. They completely left the company to go find another one. And what that's going to do, guys, is some people are going to be upset with it as well. But you want to know what most people on your team are going to do? They're going to go, whoop, let's go see what they're doing, right? Because they're a leader in your team, All right? So it's kind of like when I tell you, don't think of green, what are you going to do? You're going to think of green. So if you're telling people, go block them, don't talk to them, don't have anything to do with them in your life, even though for the past three or two years, they've been an absolute um, blessing to have in the family. Now they suck. So don't go follow them. Make sure you block them, all that. All you're going to do, all that you're going to do is drive traffic and leads to the, the person who left. It's, it's honest truth, guys. You really are going to. Um, so what I would recommend is instead wish them the best. Make it no big deal. All right. Now, what you can do when, when this does happen is, is well, to prevent this from happening, guys, and this is where the green grass is coming in, is make your grass fucking green. Grass greener. Okay? So, what I mean by that is kind of that feeling of having a small team, big love culture, right? You know, it's going to be really important that you make it Make your grass greener than it is. So if people are like, oh yeah, over in B, it's looking kind of green. Fuck that. You water the shit out of your field every day. You put plants down. You put some hay down and shit. You shine some sunlight on that bastard all day long. I don't give a shit what's going over on field B because over here, this grass is greener over here. So make your team environment a massive amount of love, right? You know, um, it could be things like, doing team calls once a week or doing team recognition once a week or um, having a team dinner or a team event that people can come to. When you're having a lot of fun and you're showing people that you really love them, they're not going to be looking at the other side of the field, right? They're not like, I don't give a fuck what's going on over here because it's, it's so much cool shit's going on over here. It's like when you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, right? You're not, you're not looking at any other ass when yours is already good, right? You know, you're, you're content, you're happy, everything's going great, you know, she cooks, she cleans, she, she takes care of you, you're not going to look at any other girl, so make sure that your grass is green as shit, and so that, if, so when people go to be like, oh, what are you looking at, doesn't matter, our team is awesome, right, that's one thing that's going to help you prevent teammates from going over there, um, so what you're going to need to do is become stronger, so how can you learn from this, when someone leaves your team, ask yourself, what can I do in the team environment 
or whatever to become stronger so that if this circumstance were to happen, it would weaken it. Okay, so how can I make a stronger environment um, to weaken this from happening, right? What can we do? What can we do to make this better so we're not seeing this as much? You're going to see it, guys. You're going to see it. But what can we do now as leaders in this team? Ask your team, what can we do to prevent this shit from happening ever again? Right? Can we show more love? Can we recognize more? Can we pour more love into our team with giving them team trainings or, or access to stuff or maybe a little presence? Maybe writing a little fucking letter to them once a month to let them know that you love them, you know, stuff like that. Or, you know, can you do like a, a team cookout type thing? Like those are cool things that you can do or at events. Can you do, can you have like little ribbons to let them know they're on like team fuck yeah, you know what I mean? You know, that, that's how you make everything stronger. Because I want you guys to know, you cannot control people. You can't. If they want to leave, let them leave. No big deal, right? You can't control people who are like, no, you have to stay here or else we're going to fucking throw rocks at you and shame you and, and treat you like a, a dog of ass, whatever, a, a piece of ass. Um, you have to understand that you can't control people. They're going to make decisions on whatever the hell they want to do. That's why we're entrepreneurs, right? We don't like to be controlled. All right, number four. Last one here. And this is the most important one, guys. When this shit happens, whoo, you are going to unleash fury. And what I mean when I say this is I don't mean tell all, your whole team that you're like, peace out, we're, I'm out of here, I'm going to go create my own team page. What I mean by rebuilding is bringing more, develop more leaders, right? Recruit people into your business like a son of a bitch. Have, if this happens, guys, have the best month that you can ever have in, as far as bringing people onto your team, having customers, um, having results, right? Um, being the best fucking boyfriend or girlfriend you can be, um, paying your goddamn bills on time, being consistent with personal development every single day. Like, be the, the fucking top notch that you've ever been and show them like, hey, I ain't affected by that bastard leaving. Who gives a shit? They, got, they have their own little vision. We got ours, right? You know, so have that month to just go ape shit and just rebuild, have the best month ever. But I don't mean, you know, tell your team goodbye. You know, I'm going to go build a separately new team and screw you guys or anything like that. No, it just means like we're going to rise and we're going to conquer. We're going to be relentless as shit this month. And we're going to, we're all going to become stronger, a bigger and bigger, better team. Oi, listen here, you feckin' gobshite. Take your arse over to treybearer.com and sign up for his free network marketing academy, where you will find tips on how to build your network marketing and MLM business. If not, well, you can go f*** yourself.